Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. <laughs> Welcome to Game Grumps. Yeah, seriously. Everybody's on board for this. The episode started. Oh, hi. hi. Hello, hello. hello. Uh, we are blasting through uh, Legend of Zelda Toilet Princess. I actually asked Aaron to show me, uh, you know, in a walkthrough where we are in this game. And, uh, apparently this game has 22 chapters, and we are at the very end of chapter 17. So we're getting there, man. Hell yeah, bro! We're, we're like, we're, we're about to enter the home stretch. Oh god, no. Yeah, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Why honestly. are Tektites so fuzzy in this one? I don't because, like- Because, man, you know what? They're cute, alright? And sometimes they get cold and they need to stay warm. That was way too emotional a response. <laughs> well, yeah, well... Personally, I like fuzzy things, so when you say, like, why are they so fuzzy, all disgusted, it makes me a little upset, because it feels like a personal attack. <laughs> wow. Well, it wasn't... It wasn't a personal attack, I... If anything, I... I neglected to take into account your feelings, so... You're always neglecting my feelings, dude. I protect, but I also neglect. <laughs> <laughs> when there was one little, little mini Tektite left, uh -huh. I was kind of thinking like, does that one little mini Tektite really justify this very intense, like, battle music? Yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, the, the battle music is really 100% or 0%. Wait. So I did that one. That also button. But, how do get statue over to that button? How do do? You want to say that again in English, please? How do get statue from button to that button? Why not just pick it up and huck it over the fence? Oh, maybe I can do that, and I was just screwing it up like I was the other time. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, I, I think I'm too close. Yeah, try putting it on that pedestal. Yeah, there you go. See, I just interpreted it. Okay, well, that's not what I had in mind exactly. Hey, yeah! It does work. Alright. Now I you just gotta get over there. I assumed it didn't work. Boom, baby! Take my green ball. Take my green ball. I'm proud of us. Yes! Oh, progress! That's the big cream! <laughs> That's the big <laughs> shredder. The turtle. <laughs> They're giving me a heart. <laughs> you got another piece of heart. Wait, what? No, I'm supposed to get the big key in here. Oh. Wait, what the hay? Well, where I, the hay's the big key? I mean, it's still good. It's, you, you need those heart pieces. <sighs> I thought that was the big key and I was gonna be done with it, but I gotta look at the map again. There's treasure chests everywhere! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was such a fool, damn! Yeah, just get those treasure chests, bro. Uh, They're all clustered in that one room. So easy. Says you. Just fucking do it! I'm trying, man! I'm just figuring out how to get up there, you dope! Wait, there's a lot of floors. Yeah, there is. There's eight. There are. So you delivered the big statue to the... Um, to the front of the temple where he needed to be? Yeah, I just need to get the big key now, because I'm an idiot and I didn't get it. Okay. Because I'm an idiot. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. I am being hard on myself. Because I'm dumb. Okay. I'm sick of people calling me stupid all the time. Because oh. it's true. I didn't call you stupid. The I... truth hurts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like I don't want to hear it. It's like I feel it every day, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't get the guy to bust open the walls. I gotta do this ass. It'll only take a second. I know, but it's... I know Yang. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they pronounce it in Taiwan. <laughs> Did you know I had... I had... When I grew up as a kid... Uh-huh. Um, I had a VHS of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. The male strip... Club? Yeah, I, oh. I made sure to say Rescue Rangers after oh. because I was like, "Oh, I thought they were the men were dressed as Rescue Rangers." <laughs> <laughs> no, Ch 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 Chip and Dales. Okay, Rescue yeah, Rangers. with Gadget. Ch 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 Chip. Yeah, oh, who, who, who we absolutely would have fought for 
fought over in our fantasies. You shut up about Gadget. Don't even- you- don't- don't Why sully. do you think I'm- uh, yeah, I'm the one that everyone calls a furry all the time, and yet you would absolutely. Everybody would absolutely! Gadget's hot! Yeah, people- people are too quick to judge, man. Um, but so... Absolutely. I had a- a VHS of- oh wait, that's where the treasure chests were. Oh my god. Um, I had a VHS of... Of... Yeah. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Okay. Chip and Dale's... Oh, there's a... Ch -ch -ch Chip and Dale's. Use your grappling hook. Rescue Rangers. Up there. Can I reach that one? I mean, it's a friggin' grappling hook. Spot. I mean, they wouldn't have put it there otherwise. I can't reach it from here. Oh, dingles. Can't reach it from here. Try, uh... Try me out. Oh, up on I... one of these pedestals. Ah. Oh, I see. But I need to add another one. Yes, no. you do. Um. Okay, I had a VHS of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Uh huh. But my dad had work in Taiwan often. Did he really? S yes. Wow. So he would, um, bring home stuff from Taiwan every so often, and he brought home a VHS of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. And it was the same shit, but it just had, uh, Taiwanese subtitles. subtitles. Okay. And so I watched every episode of Rescue Rangers I watched as a kid, I watched with Taiwanese subtitles. <laughs> did it add to the-, the did it enhance the flavor? Yes. Really? It was incredibly nostalgic, and I think that's maybe why I like subtitled stuff. Oh, I mean, usually it's- also because the Japanese voice acting is better. At least when we're talking about animes. Bro. Yeah. I mean, that's just a personal opinion, but... Yeah, you're getting into some it controversial do, do people v very much feel, uh, strongly about dubs? Uh, yeah, there's a- there's a growing dub community. Because dubs have gotten way better. They certainly have. Like, you gotta remember, I'm- I'm talking about... I grew up in, you know, the 80s and 90s when... Anime dubbing was horrible. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, you gotta watch watch some early Speed Racers to see what I'm talking about. That's that's where that whole "aw" thing came from because they would say that to fill in the space because the characters' mouths would always move longer than uh, there were enough words to fill. Yeah. So, uh, oh, that's the end of my story. But yes, Great. <laughs> there, there's a there's a big subs versus. You got the stamp dubs of the community. helium letter T, bro. There's a part of me though. Okay, so you gotta be happy about that. The stamp with the letter T on it. Yeah. Oh, who, I mean that's what you've been looking be? for your whole life. Yeah. Who wouldn't be? Um, what are these? Oh goodness. Uh, dude, they're they're flip jobs. They're horny okay? toads. Yeah, you, you gotta hit them in the butt. They're little flip jobs. Okay. Oh. I don't like how they just die. Yeah, I've- Oh, and you can use that as a shield, I bet. Nope. Nope. Well. You can use it as, like, a scoop. I'm gonna scoop you, baby! Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Um... What the hell was I saying, man? It was something about this dubs. Such nonsense. Oh, yeah. So, I have- I do have an opinion about anime dubs. Oh, please, I'd love to hear it. Um, because, like, whenever you see an anime dub, and maybe... I know some people are probably gonna argue with me about this, but whenever you see an anime dub, some that's done by like film actors, like Princess Mononoke, yes, had a lot of film actors yes. in um, its dub, and it was like it was very subtle, um, and it felt it 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 felt like it had a lot more weight to it. Yep. Um, but anime voice acting has a certain style to it, mm -hmm. which I understand because. It's trying to replicate what the Japanese sounded like. To be as sort of authentic as possible. Right. Um, but I don't know if I agree with that practice. I think that's not how our... Si because that's how Japanese cinema is, period. Right. I mean, obviously when it's live action, it's a little bit more subdued, but it's also still kind of like... It's sort of like no theater, like kabuki, very like over the top. Yes. Um... So I think when you bring anime over here and you dub it, you should be a little more subtle about it. Um, and I think it sounds better. 
Because every time I every time I watch an anime that's dubbed, I think you just stand on the fourth one. Oh. Every time I watch an anime that's dubbed, I'm like, but people don't talk like that. Right. That is an issue. And it really bugs me. Uh, oh but shit. But that's just my opinion. I I understand the. I understand and empathize and almost agree with the other argument. Do I need to get one of those? Yeah, may, uh, maybe. How would you do that? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I think I have to grab it with a claw shot, maybe. Oh. Do, do, do. But leave a comment if you... <laughs> about how you feel about that, because I know there are a lot of people that believe the other way. Yeah, I always liked, um... I always like the subtitles. I just like hearing the voice that the people who had the original vision for the show wanted to give the character, you know? Yeah, word. Although I will say it was very exciting when... Because I play Gato in Mighty Magiswords, who's a semi-regular character on the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, they brought it to Japan, and it, and it was... it was I think it was, like, pretty popular in Japan, because it was very Japanese-inspired. Right. Um... And so there is a Japanese Gateau voice actor who, like, based his performance off of mine. Get out of here. And is that is that bizarre to listen oh, to? Oh, it was the coolest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, dude, it's I like love he's, it. he's trying to be me! And, like, and it, like, does. It's, it sounds like my version of Gateau. It's wow. Pretty, it's pretty, pretty cool. Do you know who the voice actor is? Oh, I got it. Uh, no, I, I did know his name for, like, a month or two, but then it just... Slip my mind. It would be great if you could see him at a convention or something. Dude, that would be amazing. I, yeah. He wouldn't care. He, oh, you he'd don't be like, think oh so? yeah, whatever. I'm on, on to my fiftieth show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I would love. I, you know, I haven't been to a con in many years. Um, I'm starting to think I would love to like disguise myself and go back to one. Um, because I mean, we you people have heard us say this a million times. Uh. Cons are difficult for us because, um, we were just very recognizable there, and you can't really go around and enjoy what the con is about, because, like, you just get surrounded and then a line forms and then you're just doing a signing. Uh, which is wonderful and cool, but, like, it's not what you go to cons for. Um, so, uh, and also I get sick a lot when I shake a thousand hands and stuff, as does almost everyone who goes to cons, I think. Yeah. Um, but, I do miss it. I- I used to go to Otacon all the time, uh, KatsuCon I went to a lot, been to DragonCon a couple times, like, I really, really liked it. Um, but, I, you know, life just kinda took us away from that, um, and, uh, it'd be cool to go back. I just wonder how- how hard we'd have to disguise ourselves. Um... Like, would I have to go full Stormtrooper with helmet? You, I think you would have to probably wear something different, because you have, like, a very recognizable wardrobe. You, well, yeah, I only own, like, five pieces of clothing because I'm lazy. Yeah. Um, because even when I was, like, fully masked, like, I was, like, literally, like, ninja mask with, like, a hat on. People knew? People were like, hey, man, love your stuff. And I'm like... How the fuck? Wow. Because they just like know your like your gait and your like build. That's amazing. Yeah, it 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 was. I was very impressed. Um Did you answer them? Did I like were you like thanks <laughs> like disguising your voice or Oh, uh it depends. Yeah. Like some sometimes I'll be like thanks man and other times I'll be like I don't hmm? know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh? If I'm like really like yeah, I, I, I'm just in the middle of something or whatever. Sure. Uh, but yeah, you you really got to go through great lengths. I mean, it'll it'll reduce for sure. Like there was, if I just do like the sunglasses and the hat thing, mm -hmm. um, it's like fifty percent lower. Oh yeah, I I remember, I was reading um this amazing book called Serve the Servant by Kurt Cobain's old manager, um, and he said, uh, even someone as Wildly recognizable as Kurt Cobain. It's like if he made like small alterations to his appearance like no one would bother him and stuff Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's interesting um, That's why I like going to Disney is usually pretty easy because it's like I just have a hat and sunglasses by default Oh, yeah, it's a good point um, But that is like a primo like recogni recognition area 
And I just want to say, like, that's not... I... I have no problem being recognized with people coming up and wanting a picture No, that, that, that... that's the whole thing about it, like... Like, I love talking to a person. You know, I yeah. love talking to any fan that comes up. It's just when, like, the sheer volume is more people than you could possibly, like, give your time to, mm -hmm. uh, in a meaningful way, then it becomes very, like... You just have to be in a different mindset. Oh yeah, it's like a conveyor belt. Yes. It doesn't, yes. It doesn't feel and right. it yeah, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel cool to the people in in a sense. And also like, is it boss time? It is. Is it finally freaking boss time mm -hmm. in this episode? Yeah. Oh my god. Um. This temple has taken a while. It sure has. It's been an adventure. It's taken some time. Oh you, whoa, my dude. god, that's a spider. Hey. Dan. Yeah, what? D are you gonna ask me what I think you should have to do to kill this thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, actually, I think it, I think they like switched it up a little bit. I think I have to like capture these little boys up here. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. Oh. Or, oh, is it just a? Uh... Oh, Punch. hello. Ah. Come get me. Can get me fall on me. Oh, I think I have to. Okay. Whoa, whoa, ah! whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I knock him down? I bet you have to shoot him three times and then he gets knocked down. Oh, come over here, bro. Ew, bro. Shoot. I don't. I don't like the way his abdomen pulsates. Shoot, shoot your laser. Oh, there it is. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ying ying ying! Yeah! Daddy. Ew. Yuck. This is cool. Scratch, 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 scratch. This is this is clever. This is cool. This is a nice little uh, spin they put on things. It's like Goma, but instead of your sword. It's was it called like Iraq Goma or something? Yeah, like that? in this game, in, in, I think originally, I think originally it was just called Goma in the first Zelda. Yeah. Well, in uh. uh Ew, 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 the, ew, the time ew, one. Ew, 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 ew. of time is also called just going. Ew. Yes. Do you have a whirly attack? Yeah, I do. That'd be good. Oh, he's right there. I think it's a she. Based on how many eggs she's shooting out of her body. Bang! Ugh. Ow! This is vile. That's one tough spider, because whenever I crush a spider, it just fucking explodes. Yeah, it's immediate explosivo. Although I try very hard not to crush spiders, because they're helpful and kind of cute in a weird way. Except Black Widows. Well, if- Those fuckers have to die. If they're in your house. Yeah, they can really hurt you. That's my- That's where I draw the line. Yeah. If they're out in nature, it's like, of course I'm not gonna mess with you. Oh. The, if they're a mile within my property, I murder them. <laughs> Unless they're like, like, like get the hell off my lawn. <laughs> I do have a spider stick from my backyard, just because I don't want to walk into spider webs. Spider stick. Yeah, it's just a long stick that you wave out in front of you, so you don't like. Oh, it knocks down webs. Yeah, so you don't like run right into spiders. Cool. And it doesn't like, as far as I know, it doesn't hurt the spider. It just ruins their work. Yeah. Which is a bummer in and of itself. But yeah, but they don't get ripped. They don't get pissed. Well, they just. Start making it yeah, right they, again. They're like, ah, they're like, okay, here's what I do. You got him. You got it. But they also learn, I guess, because like once I started doing that, then they stopped making <laughs> webs where I walk. Yeah, they're smart. Ew, 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 ew. Good. Do I have to fight this one now? Oh, holy crap! Look at this. This is kind of grossing me out. This is, this is kind of funny. I mean, this is supposed to be cute, right? Like, oh, maybe I should just do this. They're not even attacking. Daddy. Oh, yeah. So was he like nothing grosser than a deflated eyeball spider? <laughs> was he in like an Independence Day style like spider suit? <laughs> yeah, I don't know actually. I got a lot of questions. Oh, is that the last piece of the mirror? That we got so then we can get the four pieces of the pendant and then go to the 21 pieces of the Triforce? 
I think there's one more. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go to the Sky City where we get the... The the best ability. Spence. You saw how nasty that monster was, right? No. Nasty. The evil within the shards is much more powerful than you can imagine. It's kind of cruel, dude. Oh, it was the shard that was giving it that power to be huge. You know, we could be assembling something truly terrible here. Not that you have a choice, I mean, yeah. the game is linear. It could be something <laughs> that we ultimately have to destroy. Yeah. Anyway, the fourth one. Let's do it. Yeah. And here we go. We have to hurry. Let's find the last shard, Spence. Into the floor butthole of teleportation. We have to reach the sky. That's where the last shard is supposed to be. I don't want to talk about shards, dude. <laughs> Oops. I sharded. <laughs> With a D. Don't- Yeah, don't forget to grab the heart piece. Don't forget to grab the hat piece. You got a new hat! That's me. Excellent, you've been fully replenished. It's for me. You piece of shoe. You I'll get you out of here. You should. Okay. There's nothing else to do, right? Okay. No. But what about that thing? No. Mm, yeah. I did it. <laughs> I got the chest with the 20 rupees. Bye. <laughs> yes, yeah. save. Okay, good. See, that's the thing I don't understand is like... I had so many opportunities to save last time we played, like, why didn't it... I think because you were doing side quests instead of, like, a main kill a boss quest. But even when I killed the boss, it didn't... It gives you the option to save, and it, and I just didn't. Really? That yeah. does seem strange. Right? I guess I'll just have to look back on the episode and just be like... Mm, yeah. It might have just been on no, and you're like... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Did I explain that well? I just feel like a dingus, you know? I feel like a real dingus. It was, I mean, it was a little dingusy, but like, it does no one has to know. Well, everyone knows. Yeah, you told everyone, but still. A Poe thing that I don't care about. Bye. <laughs> I just don't care! The Poes are annoying to fight. Using the dog is terrible. Okay. I feel like they realized that when they were making this game, and now there's like no more dog segments. Like, do you, when's the last dog segment you remember? It's been a minute. I mean, she made you turn into a dog to use your scent. Yeah, but for like a sec. Yeah. I mean, I suppose you could be a dog this entire time. Like, I, I think it probably just gives you the choice of what you want to be. Nobody wants to be a dog. How do you know that? Because it sucks. Because I asked everybody. <laughs> here, here, I'll fight the Poe. Just to... Give you I, a little sense of- but Believe me, I know what it looks like. I've seen you fight like 17 of these things. Use my sense. Oh, love this. <laughs> so, so salty. Oh, love that camera. God, it rules. You got him, now pull it out of his body. Yeah, awesome. Pr pretty rad. You got the post hole. Okay, Alright, we're done. Done. Stupid. <laughs> I hate it. Stupid! Nobody likes the dog. Okay. No one. That's why I, I don't do it again. You got another heart container. If people fucking loved the dog, they would have made a, the dog a thing in a later games. You, they would have made uh, the dog a thing. <laughs> yeah. But they didn't, and you know why. Why? Because it sucks! <laughs> <laughs> they uh. used the Dominion Rod again. Or... Ew. Wind Waker was the first to This mean, thing man. keeps coming back. Uku. Right, right down the oh my god. <laughs> oh god, this is what she was looking for. Ugh. Goodness, yes. It's the Dominion Rats are found in the temple. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. I feel like I'm watching Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh, yeah, me too. I thought at last I could return to the skull. And I have completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestir it with magic. Mm. <laughs> it can't be helped. <sighs> I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided. That's what we'll do. <laughs> That's what we'll do indeed. Hooray! Well, Uku is on her way. See you again! Join me, tiny head! You've got it, big body! <laughs> <laughs> what well, the fuck was that? <laughs> Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, wait, the Dominion Rod. She's gone. I suppose a useless rod is really just more baggage, but what are you going to do? Hmm, did she say something about returning to the sky? Yes. Dope. The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. Mm. If we can restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. Well, she took it, right? Oh, no, I still have it. Yeah, here it is. Oh, look, it's just like... Maybe she was supposed to take it, but she left it. It's like brown and rusty now. Mmm. Bra. Um... Like a brown, rusty bra. rod. 
Maybe if I go oh, into Oh wow, this yeah, area. now I see. I see the layout of the temple now. Yeah, right? It's cool. That's pretty dip. Boy, Does that mean like is, the Oh rest yeah, that's where all the windows would be. That's cool. Yeah, right. This is beautiful. Does that mean like the rest of the temple is like up there and it's just like forest now? I guess so. I guess it would have to mean that. Well, that's kind of neat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, where should I go now? I can't go to the sky, exactly. Um, can you go back to the main town that you started in and buy some supplies? I guess I could. Supplies! Um... In Search of the Sky. That's chapter 18. That sounds good. Let's do that. Uh... And then Oko, and then... Then I go back to Kakariko. Okay. Okay. Kakariko Village. That's the one I was trying to say. But I can never remember the name of it. Were you talking about Castletown or Kakariko? Oh, they're two different places. Castletown we, is the Castle Town. You think I'd know this, given the fact <laughs> that we've been playing this since 2018. It would be funny. It would be kind of like an Iceland Greenland situation if like Castletown was like the small town and then yes. Kakariko was the. I would love that actually. <laughs> ah, yes. Whoa! It's a monster! Everybody <laughs> won! <laughs> oh, whoops, because I'm a dog. Oh, god dang it. Such a dummy. Gotta transform back. It's so stupid! Just make oh, me a human automatically. Never mind, it's just Link. <laughs> oh, Link scared off the monster! Look out, Link, there's a monster afoot! <laughs> oh, I'll get him. Okay. Uh, Neato, I guess. Ugh, yikes. <laughs> Capital yikes. Uh, where's the... Where's, like, the Native American looking guy? Um... And then he in one of the buildings? Is he? Oh, the pudding guy. The pudding guy? Weren't we talking about him eating pudding or something like that? It's been a very long time. <laughs> it's been a hot minute! Yeah. I believe we had some running joke about him that was pudding related. <laughs> that seems like us. Yeah, <laughs> that's so us. His name is Darbus, and he's in the sanctuary, which, you know, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Which, you know, good for him or whatever. Is that the sanctuary? Which one's the God, sanctuary? God, man, why do you wear pasties? Oh, it's the, the one that looks like a sanctuary. Right you are. Hey, what's up, kid? Spins, did you know <laughs> that Zora Boy is actually the prince of the Zora tribe? Yeah! Yeah! Well, if I had gotten to know him better, maybe I could have gone and met the royal family and been a princess or something. In your dreams? Oh, rats! I let a really big fish get away! Oh, no! Damn. Gold digger? <laughs> I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> Alright, inside. Yeah, boy. This is where Darbus lies. Mmm. You lied to me! Whoa! Whoa! Forgot about him! Extra big pasties for that man. <laughs> oh, like he's, what is he so mad he about? He flex those right off. Ugh. Aha. I have been waiting for you, Spats. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shad? I'm gonna be honest with you, sir. I don't remember any of these people you're talking about. <laughs> well, it seems he is researching <laughs> the heavens. And he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. You remember where that is, right? Of course you do. <laughs> and as I have learned, when Ilya, another one of your friends that you've had interactions with, was saved... <laughs> <laughs> she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens or something like that. That's what I call my Johnson. <laughs> the Goron Elder believes <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Not the terrifying Goron Andre the Giant that's 20 feet to my left. <laughs> <laughs> if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? You do remember Ilya and Telma, right? <laughs> Here, Ilya and Telma are standing next to each other. Which, Which one's one? Ilya? <laughs> <laughs> it would be best to speak with her first. Please take this to Telma. You know where she lives. It's like that Saturday Night Live skit where it's like, 
what's my name? And like they get have the contestants guess uh <laughs> yes. Yeah, the celebrity and they can what's that nail, name? nail it every time and then as soon as like it's your boss and his wife and she's like, Yeah, what's my name? <laughs> and everyone's like sweating bullets. Uh, hey, uh, hey you, you hey <laughs> Oh god, so funny. You got Renato's letter. Who the fuck is Renato? I think that's Renato. Yeah, of course it is. I thought that was uh uh, yeah, say it, Aaron. Say something racist. Chief Wampum. What? No, I was gonna say Darbus. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Darbus is the big Goron. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay. It's because I was looking to walk through, and then it was like, go talk to Darmus and uh, Darbus, and I was like, oh, okay. But Got that's it. Renato. Got it. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. Luckily, no one would ever mix her up with Ilya. <laughs> <laughs> we have a fighting chance, Spans. Chance pants. Mm. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, big dude. Look ahead. Look at what your future holds. Potbelly and a happy trail. Whether we get the girl's memory back, young warrior, will be up to you. Even our chief Darbus has lost the memory of his dark time. Now that I'm about to hit puberty, my voice should be lowering <laughs> any time now. We have not told him that you were the one who saved him. He is a proud Goron, and he can be touchy. <laughs> if we knew he had been saved by, if he knew, on the other <laughs> hand, he does have a strong sense of moral duty. So if anything happens, you can count on him to help. Okay. <sighs> okay, bye. Okay. I gotta go give this to... Oh, shit. Talma? Right? I, yes. Telma. And Ilya. But mostly Telma. Telma's the- Oh, Telma's the sassy Telma's the, yeah, bartender. Yeah, the bar bartender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The barkeep. Okay, and Ilya- Ilya, I think, was the, uh, fish girl that she was taking care of. Uh, Remember? She was, like, sick. She was just ill. Oh, yeah. hence the name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. You're so funny, Dan. Oh gosh, it's my curse. Can't even imagine where you'd get all that comedy from. It comes from the taint area. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Most of the humor derives from the gooch. This is where the humor <laughs> gland lies. <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes some humor now. <laughs> Can you give me a... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> If you shove a rod up your a-hole... Wow, Aaron. <laughs> you can massage the humor gland. Oh, is it runny, man? Yes, it is. <laughs> I smell terrible. <laughs> you made that exact joke. Did I? <laughs> yes. I, it's just what I always think. I'm like... <laughs> Very last time. He never has time to shower. <laughs> and then that's what I say afterwards. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's funny. It's just in my head now. Wow, that's amazing. The thing I always think about that we said about him was like... The, uh... They robbed me and the rest of the marching band! They took everything! <laughs> <laughs> that's my personal favorite. Right down to my britches! <laughs> <laughs> they tried to take those two, but I offended them off. With my tuba! <laughs> Wow, this is a nice looking town all of a sudden. Yeah, it's got a lot of people in it, right? <laughs> wow, does your voice break up purpose there? It's got a lot of people! <laughs> well, it's because it's daytime. We never show up when it's daytime. That's true, we're always here in the- in, like, under the cover of yeah. darkness. Uh, inside. Now When it's, it's us and three thieves that are still awake. Let's go inside. The mm. den of thieves. Here we are. I will talk to Terma. Om omelette is her name backwards. <laughs> How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that Shay Shay Sha Shay Shaman will find a way to get her memory back. Wow. That Renato is a talented man after all. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing, okay? You weren't sure about doing what you ought to be doing, honey? Well, why don't you go show your face in Kakariko Village? Our friend Shad happens to be there right now, looking into this and that. Probably hooking up with some, sh some Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> if you need some detailed directions, <laughs> just take a peek at that map in the table. Okay. I'm so sick of these Shads. All these Shads hanging out. 
Meow. <laughs> Not what I expected to come out of that mouth. Orf. Meow. Oh yeah, these guys. Uh, Shad is in Kakariko Village now. Would you check on the children if you head that way? Well, I was just there! Ugh. Bye! God, make me run around like a... Ugh! Oh wait, I need to get an invoice. Yup. <laughs> Shut up. I was like... Like, I'd... I'd... I'd drawn in the breath to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Here we go. I just don't pay attention. It's okay. Uh, how's that idiot doing? Wait. Don't I get it from her? I, thought, I would've thought so. Who do I get it from? Maybe this, you give her the letter? This fuck? <laughs> Are you the fuck I get the invoice from? Oh, there's, there's, uh... Pants yeah. boy. Pants boy. Wait, 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 wait. Runny, runny, marchy man? <laughs> She'll mention the doctor was the first person to tell me and then gives Link the invoice. What do you mean? Oh, do I have to, like, actually hand her the thing? Yes, I think so. Oh, whoops. Would you just assign it, you, you dope? Right. Shing! What do you think of this? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, well, if it isn't from Renato, the Shaman. <laughs> All this writing, and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, this is what I call rude. Actually, he said you were a lot. Well, there's no- <laughs> <laughs> He said he hates your company. You were a bit of a handful. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. Well, at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Mm, what else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to the shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. Ah, I've got oh it. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a little, like, uh, Tibetan throat singing or yes, whatever. Yes, that was incredible. Honey, you go <laughs> ahead and take <laughs> this to sang a chord. <laughs> this magic little paper will get that Kaja talking. <laughs> you got the invoice. Oh, wait, here comes the drop. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. beautiful. Did you want to turn into a dog and talk to the cat? No. Okay, well. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> they don't. Never! I hate it. it. Alright, let's go to the east side now to go to that medical building okay. that she was talking about or whatever. Never eat soggy waffles. That's the east side. Mm-hmm. Wait, where's the map? There it is. Boom, baby. Dude, my least- oh. Dude, my worst fear <laughs> uh -huh. is, like, sharding and then not being able to get to a bathroom for a long time. That's your worst fear? Yeah. <laughs> yes. My- Well, my worst fear involves, like, the end of my life. That would be the end of my <laughs> life, dude. If it happened in class, my <laughs> life would be over. If Stacy saw it! <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that feeling, though. I do remember, like, from high school, like, the thought that, like, God, if I really embarrassed myself in class, like, I, th I don't know if I'd ever personally recover. Um, the answer is, you would. Like, because life goes on, and you only end up talking to, like, four people from high school, if that ever. I honestly don't remember that feeling at all. I didn't give a shit. Yeah. I was already, like, nobody gave a shit, so... Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, I also made him like, Oh, what's that? <laughs> Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who is willing to help the Zara boy for nearly a single rupee. What? Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? <laughs> some crunches and munches? Uh, you've got some money, don't you? <laughs> By the way, that girl I love that mention on that thing. Oh my god, get late on your own time, dude. Dude, that's messed up. Here's the invoice. <sighs> ah! <laughs> look, look, I can't pull this off right now. I can still tell Miss Hyatt there is some sort of heavy to strong on me, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad. If I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink! Awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then... 
Brad let rest start it. I want to hear your fucking excuses, dude. I will break those fragile legs of yours. <laughs> Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world! Ah, uh, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I cannot repay you. Now, to work. To work. Wow. Um. Cool. So it's time for me to kick the shit out of you, Shink. right? Shink! <laughs> is he gonna, like, go into a trap door or something and, like, vanish? Oh, no, you can still speak to him. You're a persistent little bug, eh? I said I have neither the money nor the wooden stature! I can't return what I don't have. He called you a lout. I can't get rid of that medicine stench. I don't have red money when it rains misfortune at Paris. Remember that, lad. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, you've got some stuff here. I will take it all. Yeah, I mean, I can just trash the place. Yeah. Until you give me what I want. Yeah. Because that's what a bruiser does, dude. Don Corleone says his regard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. I gotta. He talks about. I forgot the dog shit. Yes. I gotta learn the scent or whatever. Mm-hmm. Stupid. Boy. You hate the fact that they don't make you do much dog stuff, but the only thing you hate more than that is when they make you do dog stuff. Wait, what? Like, you were complaining, like, there's no dog shit at the end of- uh, at the end of this game. Like, even they knew it sucked, and now that- there's dog stuff, you're like, ugh, dog stuff. No, I wasn't complaining that there's no dog- I was saying, like... Of course they cut the dog out, because it sucks. Oh, I see. But That's what didn't. I was saying. But they didn't, because they must think it's rad. Because that was the context, I was like, even they knew it sucks! They don't have any more dog stuff! Because Do halfway through they were like, fuck the dog shit! This shit sucks! Do you want to revise that now? What? Do you want to revise that theory now that, uh... You know they have more dog stuff? It's not a theory. That's a starting card fact. I need to hide in an alley so I can transform into a... ...adorable little doggo. Oh. Hey, pup! Oh, I could probably talk to the pup, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Police! <laughs> Stay away from me, you fiend! <laughs> you monsters! Alright. Transform into a wolf. All the cats are like, meow! Oh, wow, they're playing it cool. I wonder what Gangle is up to in the house. Yeah, don't ever ask me about my Gangle. <laughs> I wonder if he's playing with that Gangle egg in there. That's a great question. Alright, now I gotta learn this stupid ass f scent. Um, transform the worship. Put the block to the. Oh, for frick's sake! It was in there. Ah, for frick's sake! It was in the doctor's office. Yes, I just had to push a block to the side. Goodness gracious! How fucking annoying is that? Well, I'll just get in there. It's right there. Well, I can't because I'm a dog. Well, I have to go all the way back to a hiding place so I can transform into a human again. Dedogify. Uh, maybe I can do it here. It doesn't seem like there's anyone here. Nope. Shut up, you stupid Minda. Say, what do you like? I like picking up stuff. But I hate stone payment because it makes my paws hurt! No one understands that! So, you know what? Sometimes I think that's exactly what it would be like to talk to a dog in human terms. <laughs> Do you like stuff? I like stuff! <laughs> I'm a stuff liker! My owner gave me some stuff, and I liked to- some stuff, but other stuff I didn't like as much. <laughs> Alright, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're- I just wish you went bow wow. Oh my fucking god, the stupid dog stuff is so dumb! <laughs> I have to leave town to transform back into a human, like... How did you do it? I just- I was able to hide where the cats were, but for some reason that time I couldn't. Okay. Exactly! Okay. Yeah. Like, it sucks! Okay, let's just leave town then. It's a waste of my time. And everyone else's! <laughs> I gotta put up with this dog shit. Literally! <laughs> oh, it let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin wow, chin. Good work, good guard work. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let the wolf in. No! <laughs> what is there a guard there? There's nobody here, dude! It's just because you're in open daylight. Oh, I'm gonna fucking stab whoever just made this. Just leave the game. town! AG Aonuma or whatever, like you knew it. You knew. You knew. <laughs> you knew what you were doing. You knew ma. Knew ma, knew ma, yay. 
Ugh, dog running. This town is bigger than I remembered. <laughs> There's a lot to it. <laughs> Ugh, then I just okay. transform into a man. No, you can't do it here! The birds will see! <laughs> so somebody didn't see me through that crack in the fucking door? Okay, fine. But like, where there's literally nobody, I can't do it. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> no consistency in this universe. Killing my ass! <laughs> <laughs> some fucking video game bullshit, not even following its own lore. That's some cognitive dissonance right there. Oh my god, Aaron. Alright, we're, we're just gonna grab this or, thing and then we'll... I'm sorry, it's ludonarrative dissonance. I don't even know what that means. Ludonarrative dissonance is when the design of a video game does not match the design of the story. Hmm. So if somebody's like, that guy's really strong, and then you fight him and then he's weak. I see. And, and it's not played for a joke. And how is this? Ludo dissonance? Ludo narrative. So like, it's like telling you like, there's people around, they'll see you, but I'm literally in a spot where there's no people. Oh, I gotcha. Yes. Yes. Uh... Okay, great. Oh, you could have just done it in here. Yes, exactly. That's why I was pissed off. No, but I mean like, oh, you couldn't open the door yeah, you to can't get open the door. Oh, uh, okay, got it. Wait, can I not... So I have to be a human to push the thing. <sighs> Yeah, see? Oh. See? What, you couldn't smell it? Like the box was covering up the scent? Yeah, there's I wish that's how it worked in real life. There's some piddle. Sniff. Sniff. Sniff, sniff. Forget the reek fish scent. Yes. Get, ditch the zero and get with a hero. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Alright. Alright, now I gotta chase down the stupid wooden statue that somebody stole from this ass. I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it next time on Game Grumps. <sighs> you would think. <laughs> and you're right. Do you not want to play this anymore today? What? No, uh, no, we'll, no, we'll revisit it someday. <laughs> okay. You know, one of these days. Okay. Bye, Bye. everybody! <laughs> ah! My iPad. Oh no, my pig.